First press screenings of Avengers Age of Ultron take place tonight, and while reviews are officially under embargo until April 21st, Disney has communicated that those that see the film tonight are free to share their initial reactions via social media. You can expect to see the first posts and tweets around 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time later this evening. Avengers Age of Ultron hits AMC theaters on May 1st. John, before we get your tweets tonight, what are you expecting from Avengers Age of Ultron? I am I am so excited. There, you know, I, I counted it out today. I knew there were a few of us going. There are eight people from the AMC Movie that's News. Awesome. It's our own Avengers. <laughs> it's team. basically the AMC Movie News. That's all that's going. Just hate us. <laughs> it's just, just all of us. And, and by the way, speaking of the social media stuff, you know, I I, uh, I haven't gotten the complete go ahead to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. If you are not following us on Instagram, you really should because we are. Uh, I'm, we're going to be posting some of our quick, like a little 12 second video reaction to Avengers tonight. So make sure you follow. Get on Instagram and follow us uh, AMC Movie News on Instagram. Make sure you follow us there. Follow me at John Campio. Follow Mark at, uh, I was going to say at Mark Ellis, but that's the wrong one. 5150 Ellis, yeah. Follow Christian Harloff yeah, at Christian, Christian Harloff. Harloff. Yeah, follow all of us tonight because we're, we're going to be doing a lot. We're going to be recording our reviews after as well. Um, my expectations for tonight are sadly too high. I, I think I have allowed, you know, I did a pretty good job up until about a month ago, maybe even up to about two or three <laughs> weeks ago. Being really excited for this movie, like really excited for it, but keeping my expectation levels in check. Remember, it's a sequel. The last one, in my opinion, not everybody's, is what I thought was the greatest comic book movie of all time. You can't go in expecting them to top it and all that kind of stuff. Just go in and wanting to just enjoy a good movie, just a good movie and have a good time. But that's kind of gone out the window the last two weeks. They've been putting out these new trailers and showing new footage, and now... I'm screwed. Now I'm totally screwed because my expectation levels now for this movie are so unrealistically high. They are so unrealistically high at this point. I am giddy. I'm giddy. Actually, I was tweeting, or not tweeting, I was uh, messaging, SMSing with somebody in our, on our crew yesterday back and forth like, I feel like a six-year-old kid. Like I'm bouncing up and down for a comic book movie. I cannot wait. So my, except, my expectations completely unrealistically high. I hope between now and a few hours from now when we see the movie that I'm able to bring them down in to check a little bit. Anyway, Mark, what are you expecting? It's going to be the greatest film in the history of talkies, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. This is my second most anticipated film of the year. Behind, I don't Me even too. know. The, the way I feel right now, I have no idea if I'm even going to be able to handle when The Force Awakens come out. Like, like it's, <laughs> I'm that excited for this film. But I'll tell you why. It's because like you, I thought The Avengers was one of, if not the greatest comic book films of all time. And then when you see this trailer and this footage that we've already seen it looks like it has that fun vibe that you had with the first avengers plus a darker more ominous tone we get a great villain along with everything else that we got in the first avengers film so you can tell me to lower my expectations and like i go into this film as a critic who's going to have to review it but more so as just a fan who's really hyped up to see the avengers for two and a half hours and two i mean one great post credit scene so <laughs> you're not allowed to you're not allowed to post the review but then they said you can you can, you know, on social media, you can say how you felt about it. So I don't even think I'm going to tweet words. I think I'm just going to tweet a face. I'm just going to take a <laughs> picture of my face. I'm going to, I'm going to communicate the way everybody does with emojis, my human emoji, and that's going to tell you how I felt about the film. And I hope it's a face that I can't even make right now, like something like, <laughs> like I can't even do it yet. I'm, but I'm, but I'm working on it. Something that's going to blow my mind. It's going to be five out of five. It's just going to be the perfect comic book film because it has fun and it has darkness to it as well. Christian, I don't care. <laughs> uh, when's AJ Adelon coming out? Uh, I, I, yeah, I can't, I can't wait. Someone asked me a question earlier today because we were talking about Ex Machina, which we saw, which is right. fantastic, by the way. And there were, because we hadn't heard too much, there was some buzz because of South by Southwest, or not, but not the type of buzz, obviously, with Avengers. Like because you didn't hear that much buzz about it, do you think you enjoyed it that much more? And <clears throat> because the Avengers, like you said, John, there's so much expectations. Mm. The reason why I think that even if I have a level all the way up here that even if it's right up below that i'll still be satisfied yeah yeah is because the movie itself because more it's, it's not just a sequel to avengers it's the continuation of this franchise and what they've done with the last couple regardless of what you think about iron man 3 and iron man 2 the last guardians of the galaxy winter soldier oh. they've been on par i mean they've been they've been really really great so to get the and like you mark you brought up the villain Ultron to me is what I'm most excited about because mm. even though I've liked the majority of the Marvel movies, Loki's really been the only villain that you can pull out that 
right off the top of your head. I think that's going to change. And I think from when you do get a second movie, it is going to feel more like the, the Empire Strikes Back or whatever it is because things have to change in this one because it's not just about seeing the Avengers anymore together. That's what the first one was about. Like you said, it's the greatest comic book movie because you have the guys you've always wanted to see fight together. That's gone. That You can't rely on that anymore. Right. You have to further the story. And they're going to do that, and they have to because Civil War is right around the corner. These events have to go into Civil War. That's what I'm excited about. I think that the story is going to surprise people because it's not just about the spectacle. The story and the character development between Stark and, um, and Captain, Captain America, America, that's what I'm looking forward to. To go to your point about uh, memorable characters, quick, Mark, <laughs> who is the main bad guy in Thor Dark World? Uh, it was kind of Loki for a second, then it was some other dude because then Loki some was a good guy. Some other dude, guy, exactly. So, right. right, right. Who who can just say Malekith off the top right. of their head, right? Just so completely to your point. And I, I should just mention before we move on to the next topic that I mentioned there's going to be eight of us uh, that are going to uh, this thing tonight. So, uh, uh, Maud Gareth, if you're watching, you are not going to see this. <laughs> this I just want to rub our Jedi Council member, uh, rub it in, rub it in just a little bit.